case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1997, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Claire V. A. O. Smith Corp., which focused on limitations in civil RICO cases. The lawsuit stemmed from the Claire family accusing A. O. Smith Corporation and Harvestor of committing mail and wire fraud, thus violating RICO and causing them harm. However, the district court found the claim untimely, and the Eighth Circuit upheld that ruling, emphasizing the importance of reasonable diligence in the doctrine of fraudulent concealment. As a result, the Supreme Court affirmed the dismissal of the case, stating that a plaintiff can only recover damages caused by a new predicate act within a four-year limitations period. Additionally, the court revised the last predicate act rule followed in the Third Circuit, and upheld the four-year limitations period in the Clayton Act for private civil antitrust actions. The Clare family was unable to assert fraudulent concealment in their RICO case due to the court considering their lack of reasonable diligence in discovering the offense. Ultimately, the lawsuit was deemed untimely, and the Court of Appeals judgment was affirmed. Due to the case's lengthy evidentiary record, the Supreme Court did not review the case or consider whether the Eighth Circuit properly applied due diligence. The court also did not resolve the differences among discovery accrual rules used by circuits. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.